Well, the pineapple are mainly grown in Costa Rica and uh, they will travel from the farm all the way to Canada to be distributed in our store. Nowadays, a consumer want to have access to all the produce throughout the year, so most of our stores are receiving an average of uh, six deliveries of fresh goods per week. Produce are a living product. Being so highly perishable, we need to be able to adjust to any curveball that's been tossed our way so that we can distribute the best quality product to our consumer. Pineapple is one of the most competitive fruits and the consumption is going every year higher. The pineapple is a really well-planned industry. It's one of the most well-planned industries that I know in Latin America. And we produce 124,000 tons per year. It takes 14 months from planting to harvesting. You will have plots that will be planting every day and that way you will assure to have harvesting pineapples every week. Pineapple, if you leave it at ambient temperature, it will last between seven to eight days maximum. Once you reduce the temperature, the pineapple breathes slower, so it makes the shelf life longer. If the temperature is broken even for a short period of time, it will have a huge impact on the shelf life. If a container takes too long to arrive to the destination, it may have to be dumped. If we don't get the containers in time, we may be not be able to ship the fruit and we will have to have a waste here. There's two big causes to food waste. The lack of high quality, reliable cold storage and temperature control. The other one is inefficient handovers and breaks in the cold chain when things don't go as they planned. At Maersk, we work with farmers, retailers and other players in the cold chain alike. We will typically sit down with the customer and map out the supply chain step by step and then we jointly use the knowledge from the customer about their requirements, about their product specifics, about their suppliers and our expertise on cold chains. A few years ago we uh, started sourcing directly from the farm, knowing and meeting the growers so that they can understand their process, their culture and their reality. It allows us to understand every step of the way what the journey of our product was. You need to have everything well organized in order to have the pineapples in the perfect moment to avoid any waste. Before harvesting, we sample the fruit if it's ready or not to be harvested. Measure the level of sugar. If it doesn't have water spotting or where is the translucency of the fruit or the pressure to make sure that the, that the pineapple has enough pressure to have a long shelf life. You have to make sure that the fruit is packed between no more than 16 hours after the harvest. Then you have to cool it, the pineapple and ship it to the port in a maximum three to four days. We are heavily investing into installing state-of-the-art cooling technology. While the cargo is in our containers, we have our remote container monitoring tool that provides real-time visibility of the condition of the cargo, the temperature, the humidity, and also the wear parts of the container. We offer a one-stop shop for them that solve all their needs in one go, so they only need to work with one supplier, and that partner that offers the full end-to-end -end actually is responsible that the cargo arrives where it should be at the time it should be there and in the condition it should be. Having a reliable partner is extremely important for a supermarket. Uh, having visibility and uh, being able to uh, understand a process is a key component for us in the supply chain world. This business without logistics uh, could not survive and you need to see the business as a whole. You cannot say, hey, this is my part of the business and I will only care about this. You need to know about the whole chain in order to adapt and to make sure that you produce what the customer needs when they need it and how they need it. Knowing what's happening is key to make the right decisions. The faster we know it, the better we can react and the more we can avoid disruption.